Well, my name's Charles Nichols. I've been off and on volunteering here since 2001, and I'm um, mostly interested in disability issues, poverty, homelessness. Well, back then, it was still called Social Planning Council. Yeah. It was 2001. I was uh, in a training program that was run by a branch of ODSB. Okay. And I wanted to learn to be a project manager. So one of the places I interviewed to do the training was here mm. under Trudy. And they uh, took me on. I had asked the government program to say, look, I know your usual place for two weeks, but I got to learn anything about a project in two weeks. Give me eight weeks. And they agreed to it. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't being paid. So, um, but yeah, I, I was worked. I was put on something then called the Homelessness Project, mm -hmm. which did the research behind the first community plan on homelessness. And that's how I not just started here, it's how I started being an advocate, because mm -hmm. I uh, realized that, yeah, there were, I was doing you know, community meetings and doing research, and yet at the decision-making level, there was almost nobody with lived experience mm -hmm. or who was declaring themselves as having that experience and recent experience. Mm -hmm. So I found, yeah, I stick with it. Mm -hmm. And that kept me in touch with Trudy because we ended up on the same committees and such. And so every now and then I'd hear of a volunteer opportunity here and I'd go, hey, I, get, I got free time. Yeah, I'll get involved. Uh, now it's pretty much restricted to disposing from the rights group. Um, technically, I'm a part of Poverty Free KW, but we haven't met in like a year or two. Okay. Um, part of that's resourcing. Part of it is just there's not a whole lot. Um, there's not a lot that we can do right now. We we had a major project and we finished it. Right. Um, I was a part of that. I'm glad to be a part of that. Um, you know, I do join Trudy and help represent home disability human rights at out of town. Mm -hmm. poverty related stuff that was a template on judging uh, whether an event or a program was helping or hindering the the fight against poverty oh. and so um, you may see here around the office people talking about the template right and that's what it is okay and it's um, we got it down to eight headings as to you know what we look what we look at how we make the evaluation and it deals with things like labor law. Um, obviously, um, how much you get on social assistance. Mm -hmm. How you can, you know, is it easy or difficult to navigate a system and to be involved in decision making processes? Mm -hmm. You know, I think the, the SDC is really important in the community, mm -hmm. but it needs more resources. And if I can be, you know, maybe a volunteer on more hours and not just committee work, then I, may, I might look at that. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, depends on um, the needs and whether I have the skills or you know, can gain skills. Ah, what's unique about the about this agency has to do with who they bring in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, to say, you know, everyone welcome, you see it everywhere. But it's not... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome conditionally. Well, no, that's not the condi that's not how it is here. Mm -hmm. If you can get in the door, you can take part. Mm -hmm. And if you can't get in the door, we'll hold the door open for you. Um, you know, they've really Trudy has really worked hard on being sure that everybody who wants to have to be involved gets involved. Mm -hmm. And you know, it sometimes makes things a little difficult because you got. You know, a lot of different styles of discussing things and, um, you know, different disabilities in a room. It's been a challenge to accommodate everybody. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we fail. Um, but this is the one place that I know does that. Mm -hmm. And what is the value to the outside is we get those voices and can communicate that back to places like the region, the cities, um, that somebody 
might not normally have access to or would find it uncomfortable like to stand up and talk at city council mm -hmm. but if we have a, a community meeting about um okay when we were uh, trying to think we were well, like the lrt mm -hmm. you know if we gather people together and say you know tell us what do you think we can do that mm -hmm. um when there was um a major shakeup with social with um, social social assistance. Um, true, the agency got. You know, we didn't like the discussion document, so we created our own questions. Went to people living in poverty and said, "Okay, what should it look like?" Mm -hmm. And you know, that was a very successful way of doing the form. It was one of the things that. I was involved in. Um, I've been asked a number of times to be a resource person at um, uh, meet the candidates sessions. Mm -hmm. um, those are quite a good. That's a good contribution. They're challenging. Um, mostly, we've run into it that we've gotten so popular for doing this that we need to rent bigger space that costs more. Right. So it's its success has been a bit of a pain, mm -hmm. um, and of course, often there are you know elections happening very close together. Mm -hmm. It's very resource heavy to inter to bring candidates in and bring citizens together, mm -hmm. and to have seven or eight discussion tables, mm -hmm. you know, um, and you need the space. And often, if it's municipal elections, that's actually four or five elections at once. How do you do it? That's a that's the question we'll probably try to answer between now and next year, mm -hmm. next fall anyway. Mm -hmm. um, it's very different. Mm -hmm. I've seen um, the end of out of the cold. Mm -hmm. I've seen um, uh, the creation of new housing and new. Um, outreach type programs that I was um, not involved in but pleased to see. Mm -hmm. I've seen um, things get more expensive mm -hmm. and businesses, retailers moving out to the edges where they're harder to get to. Um, yeah, they're, they're, you know, it's it's been... 15, 16 years I've been with SD, you know, the agency, so a lot has changed. Mm -hmm. And even longer being in the city, it's like it's not the same place I moved to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really, really changed. And it's just that it seems to, um, some things take a long time for the change to start, and then it just happens. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, we argued about a rapid transit system for like 10 years before they actually decided to go for it. Mm -hmm. And then it happened relatively quickly and we were all going, um, now what do I do? You know, um, yeah, I don't like this transition. Right. You know, so, yeah, you know, what's changed? Well, I've changed probably. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm 15 years older than I was when I started. How much does that affect things? Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know, start doing a lot of committee work and community work. I was on s seven committees at one time. Oh, wow. Um, you know, either with various agencies or in the community and two boards of directors. Uh -huh. And then I decided to go back to school <laughs> and forgot to quit all those things. Oh, so yeah. my grades were not good the first time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it it opened up avenues for being involved. It um, let me see that I actually had something worth saying. Yeah. And that you know, darn it, I actually am smart. I'd kind of forgotten that, <laughs> oddly enough. Yeah. And yeah, I, I still have um, things that I can contribute, things I can do. I thought I was just waiting to die at, at various points earlier in my life. And I couldn't, and especially with the homeless, I couldn't just walk away. Mm -hmm. I had to be involved, and that led not just to being on committees here, but starting Homeless Awareness Week and... Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'd have done that had I not had people to give who gave me opportunities and believe you know 
where I felt they believed in me because I didn't believe in myself back then. Mm -hmm. um, the generation that created um, some really good stuff like the Peace Corps and such, well, they're gone. Mm -hmm. um, the rebels of the 60s became kind of the yuppies and were retiring. We need you to follow and be the radicals, be the change makers, mm -hmm. because um, as much as we tried, we didn't get it right yet. So, you know, there are big issues to deal with, so go for it. Mm -hmm. Things like climate change and poverty and um, involving people with disabilities and, you know, there are no ends to the issues that are facing us. Mm -hmm. Pick one, get involved, stay involved, make a difference. Awesome. Any last comments or things you'd like to add? Uh, we need more people involved in community development. We need, um, we need to find a way to be sure that everybody knows that everyone is valuable and valued mm -hmm. and that their opinion and even really strange out of their ideas um, need to be heard because some of the stuff we now take for granted seemed like a really dumb idea once upon a time. Mm -hmm. You know, flying? That's absurd. Men will never fly. Well, I'll tell that to the Wright brothers. <laughs> you know, and lot, I can give you tons of examples like that. Yeah. You know, so it's only a dumb idea until you do it. Yeah. You know, so don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Mm 